Hey guys and girls, it's Dark Benji 151 Today we are celebrating some Hidden Fates uh, Beckett returns. Um, if you haven't seen a billion Beckett, or excuse me, uh, Hidden Fates openings, um, I opened a um, this Hidden Trainer, uh, Hidden Fates uh, Elite Trainer box, and of course I got the rare birds here. Beautiful card, I recommend getting it. They're probably getting cheaper now that all of them are out. Um, and I got a Garchomp, I got a Scizor GX. And a Scyther, so if you want to see that, well, I didn't open that Scyther before, I got that way back ago. And, uh, I got this dude. Um, I've opened 16 packs altogether. I got a Voltorb, Rowlet. I bought this Magneton for like three bucks, and then a Jesse James as a friend. Uh, a gift from a friend. So what I want to do real quick, I only have uh, six cards here, five of which are Hidden Fates, and uh, one is a relabel. I'm going to try to see and guess the card beforehand. Um, this is definitely the relabel because I can tell the backing on it. So this is an 8.5 Gold Star Charizard, which is just awesome. Um, Goes for more than $400 right now, so that's a very nice card. Um, but we're going to get on to the good stuff, because these are the grades we're waiting for. And these are all a mystery. I'm not looking at these in any specific order. Um, so really, you, you can't mess around with these cards, because they are brutal at Beckett. Um, in my opinion, I'm going to take it off camera so I can look. Leafeon, very nice. Now, I'm hiding it on purpose, so we can look at it a little closer. Pretty good centering, I would say, and they're more lenient on the f back centering. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Centering 10, edging 10, corners 9.5, and surface 10. I think I know somebody who's pretty happy with that one. Uh, any evolution is just amazing leafy on so let's see the corner huh let's see if any of these corners are uh yeah I don't yeah there we go you can see in the top right maybe has a little bit let me check off camera here um, you know pretty much anything wrong you'll get a 9.5 uh, from Beckett so you gotta watch out but um essentially a perfect card except for that now I will tell you I just sent in some cards that I was wondering about the centering on the back uh, if that gets a 10 centering, I'm confident that I'm going to get some black labels coming back because uh, that's a little bit off. Uh, let's put these next one here. I'm going to go a little faster on this one. Um, again, the centering looks a little off from left to right. Um, I'm going to check off camera here. It's easier to see in camera. Uh, in person, but this is a uh, the birds, as everyone calls it, and uh, let's see what we got. All right, so we got centering nine, which let's take a little look. Yeah, it's pretty pretty decently adjusted to the left, so I think that's a fair grade on centering. Um, corners ten, edges ten, that's great, and surface nine point five. So. Sometimes little things hide on the surface of these things. It's all hologram, so of course that's what you're going to get. Um, you know, the Wizards of the Coast had those notorious lines through them. Um, and, you know, anything will cause a 9.5, so I think that's a fair grade. That centering. Still a gem mint. Um, on to the next one. Let's look off camera. This is Resha Ram. Uh, let's look. I always like to look at the back first, because when I decide to turn... to to grade cards, I always look at the back first because if you look at the character, you want it to be a good card. But if you really look at the back first, you're going to decide if you want to send it in. Now I can see a mark down here, so I wouldn't say this is a, you know, uh, judging from the centering, it's a little heavy on the top. So I would say this is a 9.5. And let's see, what we have Reshiram, beautiful card, 9.5. So the centering is a 9.5 in the edges, so that kind of makes sense. I'm a guru. I am the smartest person in the room.
and I'm the only person in the room. All right, awesome. Let's keep going. So we have two cards left. We have, and I'm going to do something just brutal. I'm going to look at the grades, and I'm going to show you the cards we have left. One of these is a 9.5, one is a 10. Now, let's look at uh, let's look at our friend Tapu Lele here. Uh, often Becca will grill you on the centering. I always say that. So if I'm going to decide if this is a 10 or not, let's look. The centering on the back definitely looks like it could get a 10 based on what we've seen so far. But it's the centering on the front that's really going to get you. So let's look real quick if we see any... Uh, no. I'm really seeing a really nice uh, corners and stuff, but I would say that centering is definitely bottom heavy. Um, now if I look on the front, for me, up here, um, up here, sorry, I see some something going on, so I would say this, the edges is 9.5 on this at most. Um, and the centering looks a little heavy on the right here. So I'm going to say this is a 9.5. And let's see what we get. Alright, 9.5. So the centering is 9. That's surprisingly low in my opinion. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, and everything else is a 10. So what I'm thinking is that must be the color. That must be coloring not kind of a bubble at the top. You can see that color changes right there. So that's nice that they see that. And that leaves us with our boy... Mewtwo GX, and let's just bring it in. Centering 9.5, edges 10, corners 10, surface 10, pristine 10, and that is a very exciting card, because that is probably hailed as the second best card you can get in this set, next to Charizard. Just a beautiful Beckett return, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 10, and 10. In my opinion, that's a pretty decent draw. Um, looks like... Uh, like there's a little spot. Don't know if that's on the card or not. Um, probably not, considering it got a 10. So, we'll see if we can shake that loose. But this looks like a wonderful card. Yeah, I mean, that centering looks spot on. I don't see anything wrong with this card on the back. Um, and the centering, let's see where it is. Yeah, I mean, if it's off by much, I don't know what the centering number is, like 85, 15 or something, but they're going to get you if it's not perfect. I've sent in enough cards to know that. I would say it's a little heavy on the right, maybe. A little thin on the left. But this is an amazing looking card. Congrats to the person who sent them in. On, on, and I'm sending them in for them. But this is amazing. Alright, Dark Benji 151 checking out.